I started the company about uh, two and a half years ago and I had really wanted a camper that I could take anywhere. Um, something that looked good on the back of my Tacoma, which is right here. And, um, and then also something that was spacious and nimble. Um, I've seen those campers that are so bulbous and huge. And I wanted to design one that could be a home for myself, but also that it was light enough to go anywhere. What's up everyone? Well, we've got some Kimbo campers behind us and we're here with the owner of Kimbo, hey Mark folks. King. So uh, we're just gonna get a tour around the shop and check these things out. We'll Welcome to you... Kimbo. I've lived in uh, one of the first prototypes for about four months and I lived in it through the winter. So I really got to kind of intimately know what the frustrations were of the camper. And I just started working on them and fixing them. And then after that, I, I lived in the driveway of the shop to get the company started. Lived uh, for maybe seven months at one point. And I lived in the shop for about um, maybe another four months uh, before that. So I've lived in these things for a long time. And then just taking them all over the country for you know, tens of thousands of miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we were just talking about how we're you're here in Bellingham, Washington, and this is a pretty good testing grounds with snow and lots of rain and things like that. Um, so these things hold up pretty well in the snow. You were saying, right? Yeah, there's yeah. Uh, so this one right here is one of the so this was prototype number two, and it this was the first camper that I had ever used in the snow, um, and. I found out a few things, um, you know, just with it being in the snow, you're susceptible to leakage uh, quite a bit more. So I learned a lot in that and, and then how to outfit our production version Kimbo so that it wouldn't face those same problems. But um, yeah, I mean, this camper, I had this in a blizzard <laughs> and I mean, it was like cozy. I had a generator running and I had a uh, dehumidifier on the inside and it was really comfortable. So this, uh, we don't offer the side door prototype or version anymore because just to be honest, because it was kind of hard to you know, hunch your back like that so many times. Mm -hmm. um, but this was prototype number two and you've got kind of an entryway right here. You've got a living area right here. You've got an L-shaped couch there, a shower and a kitchen and some pantry storage and then the bed right up there. And somebody just came back from the Oregon coast with this one. So if you saw them, uh, write in the comments below and let, let us know. We live in the Northwest and uh, we were just talking about this. Um, the Northwest is one of the best places to test campers because we have really wet weather in like 33, 34 degree rain that just sticks to things. And so it's a good place to test for humidity, for leakage, and just like livability and something like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool to see the prototype. I know like the side entry and everything is pretty cool, but the, I think the back entry definitely gives you a lot more. It feels a little bigger and it's a lot bigger door. Um, we were just saying how this door just kind of closes nicely and it's important to be able to get in and out of your camper when you're especially if you're full-time yeah um, even if you're just using it on the weekends it's nice to have it kind of a seamless experience yeah cool i really care about details and just making things work well mm -hmm. um, i want kimbo to be a company built around a camper and products and other campers that you can trust for the long haul um, and that's how, I've, that's how I've started this and that's what we're gonna continue to do. Before I even met you, I, when I saw this camper for the first time, I was kind of just felt that, that there was, you know, like we were talking earlier and you, you like to find all the frustration points 
and and work it out to where it's nice to use. And you get in the Kimbo and you just kind of, it's it's simplistic. It's minimal, and it's you you realize like, oh, this goes here. This does that. It's yeah. not. You don't have to kind of figure it out. You don't need like an instruction manual for it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. want this to be intuitive. Yeah. And I want it to be. Um, when you get into a Kimbo. I want there to be that kind of intangible wow factor. And, <laughs> and when you get in, it's, it's like there's something different about it. I mm -hmm. mean, that's what I lived in this for and refined it for and designed it for. And that's been the whole goal since the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as far as structure, obviously you can see it's aluminum. Um, and there's not a lot of wood as far as the structure, um, which is pretty cool for the elements, right? And so it's riveted. Right, riveted aluminum? Yeah, it's riveted and then it doesn't have any internal ribs. And I actually have patents, a couple patents on the design of the camper because it doesn't have any internal ribs. So there's no, um, uh, the heat and, there's no heat and cold transfer through ribs that, that, are, on, in, that are inside of the uh, camper. Instead, there's just um, insulative foam all along the inside. So it's like a, it's like a cooler. Mm -hmm. um, where heat and cold stays in the inside mm -hmm. um, and it can't get transferred to the out to mm -hmm. the exterior very easily the this, shell. this is how they start out mm -hmm. and we it took about two two and a half years to design the shell of the camper and that was really the that was where all of the work went but we have our panels made um, and then we have them delivered here we begin to assemble them and uh, we rivet everything together we sand and prep all the corners and then we begin to caulk and put sealant all along the interior so that it doesn't leak through the rivets and it doesn't leak through the overlapping joints mm -hmm. um, Very so nice. this is what it looks like as it's kind of being built out um, this is probably like uh, a few days into a build um, and yep and then we're going to take all of these components right here and begin to assemble them onto the camper very cool like little airplanes <laughs> awesome and this is so this is the the final kind of design that that you guys are, are putting out now and this is looks like maybe about halfway through is that right yeah this is probably yeah. half three quarters of the way finished so you've got a ladder on the side it's got the side jack mounts and some pretty thick metal which is supporting this side jack on the underside on the sides and on the back so from three different directions mm -hmm. so this thing is really really solid mm -hmm. and we use the best components that we can um, again i want people that get this camper to trust it so um, we put uh, double pane acrylic insulated windows in the in the front and the side and the rear of the camper. And then it's got things like uh, solar panels on the roof and a vent fan. So we can go to the inside and check that out. Yeah, let's check these out. And yeah, like you said, these these plates, I've seen so many campers with these plates bent. And like, I, could, I love that you went overboard and got a really, really solid plate there. Because yeah. I mean, yeah, you take it off the truck, it's all, all full right there, so. Right. So this is one new feature that we added, which is just, um, it, it makes it so you can lock this. If, if somebody doesn't end up buying a refrigerator, um, then this compartment doesn't need a, um, you know, doesn't need a propane tank. Um, and so this could act as a bay for storing gear. And so mm -hmm. this acts as kind of a lockbox to make sure that nobody can take your stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is where the propane tank is. And then now we have this uh, rear door, which is um, which is uh, weather sealed, and it closes really nicely. And then we've got a um, shade right there. And come on in. Cool. Yeah, these things are these things are cool. The Arctic turn windows. So this is going to be the mud room then. Yep. Cool. So this is where the fridge will go. This is the kitchen. Here's a little fireplace. And here's a uh, storage. So we had actually 
we had one of these in uh, Finnish just a couple days ago, and unfortunately, it left the building before. <laughs> oh shoot! To you all. <laughs> but this one is nearly finished. Um, it just doesn't have all the bells and whistles in it mm -hmm. at the moment. And if you if you do want to see a full finished Kimbo, though, this is the first one I've ever seen. I'll link that video above, and I'll put it in the description below. Um, that's Sam's Kimbo. And that's kind of how Mark and I met was I made that video and then, you know, we connected through that. So that was cool. But anyways, that's a, a fully done Kimbo. So you can check that one out too. But this video should give you a little bit more in depth to why it's built the way it is. So. Yeah, this is the, uh, we have an option, which is like a shower that goes right here. Mm -hmm. um, and then the the uh, curtain connects to the ceiling. Of course, the bed goes right here. And then this space right here acts kind of as like where you can sit back and and look out at the view. And so my goal and dream behind this was to be able to look out at the snow or look out at um, mountains or, um, you know, just to be able to park next to a view and then look out at it. Mm -hmm. uh, so. So there's a kind of a couch area that goes right here. Mm -hmm. There's also a couch that goes right here. And this space is dedicated towards, um, we have a table that comes out mm -hmm. like this. And um, you can kind of sit here and do uh, work, um, uh, but also sit here and use this for mm -hmm. dinner, yeah. that kind of thing. And then storage bins right here, a pantry area right here. And I think I've seen, you can even put an AC unit like in there, like a, a window unit or something you yeah. guys have? Yeah. Yeah. We have an AC unit that goes right here. Mm -hmm. And my goal with that was to have kind of a standard AC unit that you could use that um, if it ever broke, you could always replace the thing pretty easily. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually the housing itself that holds the AC is, is what makes that mm -hmm. unique. Cool. Yeah, and it's a very minimalist design. I think it's something for people that want a, a lighter camper, something that's more nimble, yeah. right? I mean, you can definitely get these huge campers, yeah. but for people like me that want to actually go off-road or be able to use their vehicle more, something like this like becomes a lot more realistic. So yeah. I, I think there's something to be said for kind of less is more, you know, but... And the Dickinson, yeah, that's awesome. And do you have uh, any toilet options or cassette toilet, any kind of thing like that? We don't have a cassette toilet yet mm -hmm. um, or a toilet option, but as I'm getting the company up and rolling, I'm starting a new division of Kimbo, which is just like a modular appliance division. And so in that, I'm gonna begin making um, different appliances like toilets, refrigerators, um, uh, coolers, like things that can go inside of the Kimbo, but they can also go inside of your van, for example. So it's like a module which could be used it's in this, cool. but also in your own rig. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I think I've seen some of those um, in the truck bed set up, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. saw some on your Instagram. There was like the platform you can sleep above. And, and a lot of people build these things themselves. But for people that are don't have the time, maybe don't want to look into, you know, how can I get something that built that's going to last? Yeah. It seems like a really good option. So yeah. that's going to be cool. Well, I'm excited to see that stuff. So come on over to the other side of the building and I'll show you what we have. We, we, make, um, we make most of the interior here at shop and um, we actually cut out we make all of our side panels we cut out all of our wood interiors and um, kind of build most of it from scratch because as we were designing it I didn't want to use components that were already available because that's why most campers look the same is because they're using components that are already available we wanted to start from scratch so it took longer to get going, but now that we're moving, we can make a lot of um, really unique interior um, components and features that you wouldn't see anywhere else. So the shop is a little messy. We're in the middle of um, kind of reorganizing, but 
we have a router over here Whoa. and um, and then we router out all of our own our own uh, uh, cabinetry and then we have uh, foam panels and fabric backed panels and we cut out aluminum panels for the interiors like uh, where you'd cut out um, partitions, things like that for the inside. Right. So this is one area of the shop where we store all of our components for the build and then um, make a lot of the components as well. So we'll take <coughs> panels that we've cut on the other side of the shop out of aluminum and we'll begin to bend them into shape and then install them as modules inside of the Kimbo. Uh, so that's what this side of the shop is for. You, got, you guys sell a shell and then kind of a, a more built model with some options here and there. What's like pricing like on those? Yeah, so they start at 15,000. And for 15, that's a shell that's insulated. You've got lighting, you've got um, a battery, you've got some cushions in there. And it's basic, but it's still very livable. It's like, um, you, you can take it camping really, really easily. But then at the high end uh, would be 26,000, and that would get your refrigerator, it would get you um, a shower, it would get you uh, cabinetry with a table, and um, a kitchen with a sink. Um, can't think of, oh, yep, solar on the top of the camper, which kind of recharges your batteries as you go. So those are, those are the two price points from the low end to high end as we have them now. Very cool, yeah, and I think when you compare to what's out there, if you're looking for something that's minimal, lightweight, oh, weight too. Uh, they're about the, 1,100 sure pounds vary. fully loaded, wow. I believe. Uh, yeah, we've tried to keep it light, but we also don't wanna sacrifice strength. Yeah. That's really, really important. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's such a fine balance when you're trying to put it on a Tacoma or something with that doesn't have a huge payload, yeah. and you don't want to have to get a bigger truck. We like our Tacomas, yeah. right? Well, I don't have one, but I would like it, I'm sure, if I did. <laughs> They're good trucks. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, thanks so much, Mark. I appreciate showing everybody the, the shop, and I uh, want to make sure they can follow you, too. I know you guys are on Instagram pretty actively. Yeah, go into Instagram and type in Kimbo Living, and... I'm personally posting on there so you can see, I'll post some random things uh, occasionally that are kind of funny, but mostly it's just really awesome shots of the Kimbo and videos of the Kimbo. So I think you might like it, go check it out. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome Instagram. And I think like with a lot of the things done with these campers, it's very cool to see you posting and your face in a lot of the videos. So, um, but thank you again, website? Kimboliving.com. Uh, Kimboliving.com. And of course, drop a comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other camper videos or, you know, stories from the road. The question always is, are you down to mob? <laughs>